hello guys welcome to this definitely box in this part that is part number five we'll be looking at the python code that was doing that real time graph plotting and uh, logging the data to the file if you have not watched part one to four of this series i will strongly encourage you guys to do that i mentioned their links in the description section so yeah let's go through the python code okay so now we'll go through the python code that was plotting that real time plot and logging the data to one of the text files so for doing that we need to import this serial uh, this time serial time class and serial class then we also need to import numpy then we ne also need to import this pyplot from matplotlib so these are the four things that we require to need our to do our job next we are uh opening our serial port that will be done by this line and we'll we need to give the name of our serial port in our case it will be in my case it is u ttty usb 0 and our baud rate is 4800 rest uh, i mean by default it's a 8 bit uh, data one stop bit there is no parity that matches with our with my requirement so i won't change them next we are given the name of uh, logging file and we are op opening it in the write mode so that we can write the data in this is to set the plot in animated mode so that it can plot it in real time then here i am declaring a one dimensional array of fifth length equal to 50 and each data is uh, kept to be 20 you can keep it zero also but uh, this is so that it looks i mean initially the range will be from uh, uh, and four four it will the range will be plus 25 plus 4 and 25 minus 4 so the plot doesn't start from zero in 25 is around the room temperature so i just kept it then these statements are for plotting the graph then this while loop will start the data collection this statement will read two bytes from our serial port whenever there is a data on serial port then this sum total variable will as, as i told we are in the 10 bit mode so we will have to receive two bytes for one reading so this just uh, adds those bytes and make the gets the total value of that two bytes and then we'll convert that uh, reading into temperature value by kind of doing digital to analog conversion you can say and then dividing it by sensitivity to get the real temperature value then we'll also then we are storing the timestamp by this by this statement that yeah, this will give us the timestamp then this will store the temperature value so this to this to instruction will write the data in our file and this slash n is all um, added at the last of one reading so that after that when we get whole data we can plot the temperature of the whole day by reading that file and distinguishing the each data by using this slash and reading then this this yeah i mean this part is used for plotting the data this y mean and y max will limit our plots maximum and minimum y line this statement is yeah, again for plotting that thing only and y data dot append temperature value this will push the data in our uh, array that we declared initially that is this one this y data the append function will push the data at the end of this array and the first data will be deleted so yeah, you can visualize the thing as a moving uh, we'll we are pushing the each kind of left shift we just put the new data at the left end and for first i mean initial data gets out of the array so this is how we are plotting our data yeah and this plot dot draw will dot draw the plot so this is the code which will plot the real time temperature and store it in our temperature data one dot text file now i'll open that file and show you the content of that file so here is our file 
and you can see that initially it has red resolve 25 24 because when you so I will just get to the point where we touch the sensor and the, there was a rise in the temperature to 30 degrees so here is it see from 24 it will go to 28 29 then it will go to 30 here it's 30, 29.9 again it will go to 30 and now I think around here I will just leave the sensor and the temperature will start falling so here we can see that it is falling and at last it will reach again the room temperature of 25 degree so this is our log data now I can I mean it's a kind of data for just few minutes I have done this for whole one day by taking the data every two minutes and I will show you the code and the plot of the whole day in the next part so if this, uh, this video looks nice to you uh, please like this video and if you don't want to miss any stuff that definitely works you can subscribe to this channel thank you